Welcome everybody, Jay Walden's here with you. Welcome to another edition of the Help Tips and Fun Facts. And today we're gonna cover how to boost your mood instantly. Take a listen. You've guessed it folks, that's right. Chocolate is the culprit of boosting that mood. And not just any chocolate, but dark chocolate. It's been known for many years that dark chocolate enhances the mood precipitously. Given the title as the most craved food around the world, dark chocolate has also been known to aid in brain and heart health. The reason for this is that dark chocolate lowers inflammation. It immensely balances your blood sugars and makes you feel tremendous. It activates a chemical in your body known as serotonin, giving you such a mood of bliss and happiness. As far as the aforementioned noted benefits for brain health, dark chocolate has been proven to specifically contribute to the overall increase in blood supply to the brain. In doing so, it aids in balancing hormones in the body, lowering stress, and in some studies it has been shown to improve your memory by over 20%. And for you individuals working long hours, it will substantially improve your mental clarity and focus. Because of dark chocolate's anti-inflammatory features, it also adds antioxidants. Take a look at here at the breakdown of benefits of all the many diseases that you can really avoid by implementing dark chocolate into your diet pretty often. You'll notice when you're at the store shopping for dark chocolate that on the package it shows percentages. These percentages convey how much cacao is found in the dark chocolate by weight. If you haven't already got it by now, it's cacao that's responsible for all the amazing health benefits found in dark chocolate. Cacao can be added into chocolate bars in many different forms. That includes butter, liquid, or powder. Let's get familiar of the amount of cacao that's found in chocolate and give you an idea of how much the percentage makes a difference. Take a look at the cacao percentage guide here provided by Lint. You'll see here that 30% is your sweet chocolate and it is going to taste similar to a Hershey's bar. Not a lot of cacao there, thus not a lot of uh, the health benefits that we mentioned. Uh, lots of sugar and lots of milk content. At 50-60% uh, of the cacao, it's usually around the amount that is in baking. You'll notice that there's a little bit of cacao in there. I would say that is a good amount to start with if you're new to dark chocolate. It's going to be semi-sweet, uh, less sugar, and a little bit more of the added health benefits. I would say the next one here is your 70-85% to 85 of cacao. This is where I am. Uh, this is a good place to start because you're getting a lot of the health benefits. Yes, it is going to be a bitter piece of chocolate, but it's going to have a lot of the health benefits that we mentioned as far as the high amounts of antioxidants, the also aiding to the blood flow to the brain, you're going to get a lot of potassium spike there. So this is a good area to be in if you're craving something bittersweet. And for you avid dark chocolate eaters, 99%. Uh, that is almost all, obviously. Uh, you're going to get all of the health benefits there. It's extremely bitter, almost kind of like a bitter cup of coffee. Uh, of course, added uh, cacao at 99%, you're going to get a lot of the caffeine boost, I have to mention. And if you can withstand that amount of cacao, you're going to get a prodigious amount of health benefits. One of the most common and very ordinary questions that I get quite frequently is that if cocoa and cacao are the same and like many others i answer that question with the no they are not the same basically to differentiate them cacao is a unprocessed form of chocolate it's refined it's pure it's natural it's produced by the cacao tree think of these cacaos are like beans they can be crushed into powder that is what cacao generally is. By taking that same cacao bean, you can not only crush it into a powder, you can then turn it into a paste or a butter, which can be used into many different forms. Cocoa, on the other end, is a form of the cacao, and it has been heated at a very high temperature during the processing process. <laughs> so in all, it's a form, but not exactly the same. It's a very small, grade of what cacao is. It's been processed over and over again, so it's not raw. It does have a few benefits, but not the same as getting your healthy 
natural and very refined cacao Alrighty, my wellness people that concludes our segment for today i hope you all got a lot out of that and if you're feeling a little down in the dump get you some good delicious dark chocolate start around the 50 60 to 70 percent if you're not used to the bitterness because the higher in percentage you go the higher the bitterness goes so start at a level that you're comfortable with and make yourself as happy as possible because that is number one if you got a lot of information out of that video, I ask you to subscribe if you can so you can get the latest health and wellness videos, motivation, yoga, and meditation. But regardless if you subscribe or not, I'm going to always tell you this one positive thing that I'll always try to tell you. Being well is feeling well. Feeling well is doing well. Doing well is living well. Happy wellness, everybody.